Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Jose Rizal, with hull number FF-150, is a modern warship of the Philippine Navy that has captured international attention not only for its role in strengthening the naval forces of the Philippines but also for the unique balance it strikes between affordability, modern design, and multi-role functionality. When people hear the term, destroyer, they often imagine massive ships bristling with weapons, cutting through the seas at high speed. While the BRP Jose Rizal is technically classified as a frigate rather than a destroyer, it fulfills many of the same purposes, blending advanced technology with practical combat capabilities, making it the pride of the Philippine fleet. This ship was designed and built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea, which is one of the world's leading shipbuilders. Delivered in 2020, it represents a giant leap forward for the Philippine Navy, which has historically relied on much older, hand-me-down ships from other countries. The BRP Jose Rizal is the first in her class, and she serves as the flagship of a new generation of vessels that are poised to modernize the entire Philippine naval force. One of the first things that stands out about this ship is its sleek, angular design. The hull and superstructure are built with stealth principles in mind, meaning the ship's shape is designed to reduce its radar signature. Unlike older warships that looked bulky and exposed, the BRP Jose Rizal has flat surfaces and sharp angles, making it harder to detect on enemy radars. This stealthy design gives it a major advantage in modern naval warfare, where the ability to remain unseen can often be just as important as the ability to strike. In terms of size, the BRP Jose Rizal measures around 107 meters in length and displaces about 2,600 tons. For a frigate, this makes it a compact but highly capable ship. It has a maximum speed of about 25 knots, which translates to roughly 46 kilometers per hour, and a range of around 4,500 nautical miles. That means the ship can travel long distances across the Pacific without needing constant refueling, a crucial factor for a country like the Philippines that has thousands of islands and an extensive maritime territory to patrol. Performance-wise, the BRP Jose Rizal is powered by a combined diesel and diesel propulsion system, often called CODAD. This type of engine setup allows the ship to balance fuel efficiency with the ability to achieve higher speeds when necessary. In practical terms, this means the ship can spend long hours cruising economically during patrols, but when it needs to respond quickly, it has the power to sprint into action. This flexibility makes it ideal for a wide variety of missions, from defending Philippine waters to taking part in international naval exercises. Now, let's talk about what makes this warship truly formidable, its weaponry and defense systems. The BRP Jose Rizal is armed with a 76mm main gun manufactured by OTO Malara, which is a tried and tested naval weapon capable of engaging surface, air, and even some missile threats. For closer defense, the ship is fitted with secondary guns, including machine guns that can deal with smaller, fast-moving threats like speedboats. Perhaps more importantly, the frigate is designed to be modular. While it may not be fully armed to its maximum capacity yet, the design allows for the addition of more powerful weapon systems in the future, such as anti-ship missiles, surface-to-air missile systems, and torpedoes. This modularity is one of its biggest selling points. Many navies in the region have been purchasing extremely expensive, fully loaded warships, which can be difficult to maintain and operate. The BRP Jose Rizal takes a more pragmatic approach. By keeping the base ship relatively affordable but leaving room for upgrades, the Philippine Navy can gradually enhance its capabilities as budgets allow. This ensures the ship remains relevant and up-to-date without placing an overwhelming financial burden on the government. On the defensive side, the frigate is fitted with electronic countermeasures and decoy systems, which can confuse or deflect incoming missiles. Its radar and sensor suite is also state-of-the-art for a ship of its class. It uses the Hanwha Systems Naval Shield Combat Management System, which integrates all the sensors, radars, and weapons into a single network. This allows the crew to track multiple threats simultaneously and coordinate responses effectively. In layman's terms, think of it as the ship's brain, helping it see, think, and react faster than human operators could alone. Inside, the BRP Jose Rizal is designed with modern crew comfort in mind. Unlike older ships where sailors had to endure cramped and outdated living conditions, this frigate offers more modern quarters, workspaces, and facilities. 
While still a warship, it provides an improved quality of life for its crew, which can make a significant difference during long deployments at sea. It also has a hangar and flight deck capable of accommodating a helicopter. This is a major asset because helicopters can extend the ship's eyes and ears far beyond the horizon, performing reconnaissance, search and rescue, or even anti-submarine missions with specialized equipment. Speaking of anti-submarine warfare, the BRP Jose Rizal is designed to operate in all the main categories of naval combat, surface warfare, anti-air warfare, and anti-submarine warfare. This multi-role flexibility is crucial in today's complex maritime environment. The seas of Southeast Asia, particularly around the South China Sea, are contested and host to increasing military activity. Having a ship that can adapt to multiple missions gives the Philippine Navy a versatile tool to project presence, defend sovereignty, and work with allies in joint operations. Another unique selling point of this ship is how it positions the Philippines within the broader regional security picture. For decades, the country relied on outdated vessels, some of which were literally World War II-era ships donated by the United States. The introduction of the BRP Jose Rizal signals a new chapter. It demonstrates not just an investment in modern technology but also a commitment to defending national waters and contributing to regional stability. For the Filipino people, it is a source of pride, representing progress and self-reliance. From a broader perspective, the BRP Jose Rizal is also a symbol of smart defense spending. It avoids the trap of going for the most expensive, overbuilt option and instead delivers a balanced, modern, and upgradable platform. For nations with limited defense budgets but pressing maritime security needs, it serves as a model of how to get maximum value without sacrificing too much capability. In real-world exercises, the BRP Jose Rizal has already proven its worth. It has taken part in multinational naval drills, where it sailed alongside advanced warships from countries like the United States, South Korea, and Japan. These deployments not only test the ship's systems under real conditions but also allow the crew to gain valuable experience in operating alongside more technologically advanced navies. Such exposure builds confidence and skill, ensuring that the ship is more than just a display piece and is fully capable of performing in real operations. In conclusion, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is more than just a warship, it is a symbol of progress, modernization, and resilience for the Philippine Navy. It combines stealthy design, balanced firepower, multi-role flexibility, and room for future upgrades in a package that is both cost-effective and highly capable. For naval enthusiasts, it represents a fascinating example of how modern warships are evolving to meet the demands of today's maritime environment. For the average viewer, it stands as a reminder that the Philippines is taking concrete steps to protect its waters, its people, and its sovereignty. The ship may not be the largest or most heavily armed destroyer in the world, but it is perfectly tailored to the needs of the nation it serves, making it a proud and worthy addition to the Philippine Navy.